Total fees and pertainment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends February 28, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 724-668-2231. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-4 737 Back here at Peters Township High School, just about set to go. The Guy Gators of the Neighborhood Academy, Bulldogs Neighborhood Academy in their away navy blues with orange numbers and white trim. Their bench across the court to our right. The Guy Gators in the home whites with dark green numbers and gold trim. Their bench across the court to our left. Referees here today, Joe Janik, Randy Miller, and Mike Jarosinski. What do you expect to see here tonight, Tony? I expect to see a really close game. I think that Geibel, the big thing for them is to stay out of foul trouble. And I think on the Neighborhood Academy side, it's a big, big deal that Courtney Wallace gets to start for them. They were kind of worried about his condition. I guess he was a little dinged up coming into this game, but he's going to get the start. So it was, it's going to be imperative for him to stay in all game. But I think as long as Geibel stays out of foul trouble, plays good defense tonight, I think they have a chance to move on. And as for Neighborhood Academy, as we said, They've won six of their last seven. They've played a lot of good teams, especially early on, just like Geibel did. So it's going to be a pretty tight game. I expect it to be probably about a five- or six-point game. Our live video stream, again, courtesy of Ranker Lincoln, Dr. Mark Rabatin, and attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP. Caden Grady in the center circle for the Geibel Gators. He'll jump up against Junior Ogbani, the 6'2 sophomore forward for Neighborhood Academy, one of the Normal Bulldog starters not dressed tonight is number two, Nathan Hargrove, a 6'1 senior guard who averages nine points a game. So they'll miss Hargrove out of their lineup here this evening. And that's a big loss. He's, he's been their point guard and done a really good job for him. Came in averaging nine a game so that uh, somebody's going to have to step up, step up and fill that spot to score some points for the Bulldogs. Here's Joe Janik stepping in, and we'll get the single-A quarterfinal round game underway from Peters Township High School in the opening tap. One back to Courtney Wallace for Neighborhood Academy. And Wallace, quick three, top of the key, good. What a way to start the game for Neighborhood Academy. Just a couple of seconds in. Wallace, the Fordham recruit, ends up draining a quick three. Yeah, and he had that offer last year as a freshman. You can see why. He's got a pretty nice shot right there for a sophomore. Jadis Kennedy coming back inside. That's going to be a double dribble called there on Kennedy. He mentioned Wallace. His dad was a star at Duquesne. Actually recruited by about 25 Division I schools. Played high school ball at Perry Traditional Academy. Ended up wanting to stay here locally and played for Duquesne. Starred for the Dukes in the late 90s and early 2000s. Nice. He's done a heck of a player as well. Yeah, good pedigree. Neighborhood looking for another three, and they get it here from John Wilkins. Wilkins, who had 28 against Mapletown, connects from the far corner in just 45 seconds in. Neighborhood Academy, a 6-0 lead over Geibel. And they're starting off where they did not start off in January in that loss to Geibel. Trayvon White coming inside, foul there on the drive by Junior Ogbani, his first team first. I think Ogbani could have gotten away with that if he would not have swatted and came across the wrist. That's going to send number four Trayvon White to the line. White averaging 15 a game. He's a 1,000-point scorer for the Geibel Gators. White had 25 against Avella, was our... Fayette County Commissioner Vince Vecitti's player of the game and the Gators win over the Eagles on Friday. It connects upon the first of two free throws here. 
Oh, and that's a key, too. You've got to make these free throws, especially we're expecting a tight game, and every point's going to count. Now White for a second of two up on the way, and no good that time for Trayvon White. Courtney Wallace, the rebound there for Neighborhood Academy. Wallace brings it back across. It'll bounce pass four there to Brett Manns and deflected out of bounds on the far side. We'll stay with the Bulldogs here in the Gators zone. Trying to figure out what they're doing here. It looks like they're playing like a little 2-1-2s, two and now they're going to switch to man. But it looked like a kind of a trap off or trap defense here by the Gators as soon as the ball came across the half court. Shamar Simpson inbounds into the backcourt to Courtney Wallace. They'll bring it back across on the far side. Another pass forward there to Manns. Near side on the drive. Off the glass, no good. Simpson, loose ball rebound underneath. Missed there by Ogbonny. Third attempt on the possession. They finally get it to go to him. I think that was Ogbonny. His first two of the game. Third field goal already for Neighborhood Academy, and they lead it 8-1 over Geibel here at the 634 mark of the first. And Geibel trying to get something going here offensively. There's Kennedy on the switch back with Braden Curry setting the screen. Kennedy on the far wing will take a step back three off the mark. Loose ball rebound on the near side. Brady had it for a moment on Bonnie trying to rip it away. We'll get a jump ball called. Gators get it here on the arrow. Yeah, nice hustle there by Grady to try to corral that offensive rebound, but really not, not a too smart of a shot right there by Kennedy taking that three-pointer. Pretty right. deep yeah, in, the, I in the range, too. Inbounds pass, went into Curry, switches back here to Jeffrey Johnson. Johnson now working between the circles, picked up there by Ogbonny as Grady sets the screen. Driving left of the lane, coming inside, a lot of contact, no foul called. And Johnson's loose ball goes right to Shamar Simpson, who drives back, scoop shot off the mark. And Trayvon White out of the pack with it there for the Gators. White across, White trying to hand off here on the near side. Foul called before the dish off to Braden Curry. Will be on the floor here against the Bulldogs. I think it's going to be on Brett Manns. And Geibo had numbers there. They had a little three-on-two break. Looked like White was trying to dish it off down low to Braden Curry, but just got fouled prior to that. Jeffrey Johnson sending it out in front, and just a little tip in there from Trayvon White. And the Gators get back to within five at 8-3 to three here at the 547 mark of the opening quarter. Yeah, pretty athletic move there by White. Beautiful tip in and a nice feed on the inbound pass. Courtney Wallace back across, tried to bounce pass forward, went off the foot of Trayvon White. We'll stay with Neighborhood Academy here in the Geibel zone. We mentioned second meeting of the season between these two schools. Geibel won by nine, first time out, but they actually led Sony by 23 in the fourth quarter of 53 to That's 30. And we're going to have an over and back call here on Neighborhood Academy. But the Bulldogs came back, actually made a three-point game late before Geibel pulled away in the closing two minutes. Yeah, and on that possession there, good job by Braden Curry to force Wallace to kind of step on the uh, half-court line and got called for over and back. So one of the first turnovers here by Neighborhood Academy. An opportunity now for the Gators maybe to settle things down a little bit. Trayvon White here on the near side, 527 left in the opening quarter. White sending it off to Kennedy. Kennedy on the inside got blocked underneath. I think Bonnie got a piece of it. Another scrum on for the loose ball goes to the arrow again and this possession arrow favors Neighborhood Academy. Yeah, I think the Geibel fans are chanting for a foul there on Kennedy. Neighborhood Academy playing a 2-1-2 zone defense. Looks like they're going to try to make Gobble beat him from the outside. John Wilkins will send it in. Wilkins again coming off a 28-point game against Mapletown on Friday, coming in averaging 18 points a game. Send it off to Courtney Wallace, who brings it across. There's Wallace staying with it, driving on the inside. Wallace gets it to go. You can see now why Tony, he's a Division I player. Five already for Wallace. The Bulldogs lead at seven over Geibel, 10 to three for the 502 mark of the first. Yeah, and only a sophomore looks nice. Very good player. And you can tell Geibel's going to have to step up on defense to try to stop him. Here's White from the far wing for three off the mark. Grady had a chance of the rebound. He's run out of bounds off of Geibel and out and back over to Neighborhood Academy. Yeah, Geibel's game's to play inside. I mean, you've got, you've got White, you've got Kennedy on the inside, you've got Johnson. I mean, really, at this point in time, they're going to need to make these threes if Neighborhood Academy is going to stay in this 2-1-2 zone. Kennedy, actually, the third leading scorer in the WPIL, a 31 a game, missing there in a three. Simpson getting a rebound and one underneath. John Wilkins. Yeah, Wilkins, nice put back. Just snuck in there and really got good offensive position on that board. Referees chatting a little bit. Looks like they're talking to Brett Manns. But this is going to send Wilkins to the line. Wilkins... Averaging 18 a game. 
It's all Neighborhood Academy early on. They lead it 12-3 here at the 439 mark of the first. And the free throw is good from Wilkins as he caps off the three-point play. So he has six, and it's a 10-point lead here for Neighborhood Academy at 13-3 over Geibel. Here at the 432 mark of the first. Here's White driving back, put it off the glass and in. Trayvon White, and boy, Geibel needed that, Tony. Yeah, Trayvon White with all five of Geibel's points. Wallace coming back, should be a travel, it is. And again, good defense by Braden Curry to step in there and force Wallace to drag that pivot foot. Jadis Kennedy will send it in here on the near side. Into Trayvon White. White will bring it across. Gators down five for 17. Left here in the opening quarter. White here on the near wing. Kennedy setting the screen. White between the circles now. Near elbow jumper good. Trayvon White he is all seven of the points for Geibel so far. Gators back to within six. Down 13 to seven midway through this opening quarter. Yeah, nice little pull up jumper there by White. Just found the spot in there and nailed that 12 footer. Wilkins far side. Shamar Simpson drains another three. That's three made threes already for the Neighborhood Academy Bulldogs. One from Simpson, one from Wallace, one from Wilkins. And they lead it by nine again at 16 to seven. And Geibel just trying to figure out what to do here on offense. Driving back, White, floater on the lane, good. Trayvon White, he's been the only source of offense so far for the Geibel Gators as all nine on the Gators' side. Geibel back down, 7-3. Wilkins hit it again, unbelievable. John Wilkins draining another three. He is nine here in the opening quarter. And Neighborhood Academy is at four threes here early on. I don't think they've missed a three half. <laughs> And they are electric from the outside. Kennedy getting fouled there by Junior Ogbonny. That'll be his second. Team third. And I don't th think Neighborhood Academy is very deep. So they're going to have to be careful, too, on the fouling end. Especially without Hargrove in the lineup as well. Right. Now Kennedy to get two here. First of two free throws good for Jadis. So he's the first Gator to score other than Trayvon White tonight. Kennedy actually ranked number 48 in the senior class in the state of Pennsylvania. Went over 1,000 career points December the 16th, and the Gators win over Carmichael's. As Geibel back to the 9 of Neighborhood Academy here at 19 to 10. 310 left here in the opening quarter. Second of two free throws. Good for Jadis Kennedy, and we'll get a timeout taken here by the Gators. We'll take one as well. Neighborhood Academy 19, Geibel 11. 310 left here in the first. We're back at 60 here in the CR Product Group High School Sports tonight. What can do there? and you'll know their commitment to customer service. Ranker Lincoln Motor Sales, Fayette County's exclusive Lincoln dealer, owned and operated by the Ranker family since 1950. Whether you need to purchase or service a new or pre-owned Lincoln, you've come to the right place. Ranker Motor now has a nice selection of cars and trucks with new cars on the way. Just two miles south of Connellsville on Route 119, call 724-628-8500 or visit RankerLincoln.com. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including pre-consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. As we come back, another drain three for Neighborhood Academy, this time from Shamar Simpson. They've now hit five threes here in the opening quarter. They've doubled up the Gators at 22-11. to 11. They had a steal there, but Trayvon White stepping back and trying to regain for Geibel. Ball comes loose on the far side. White stays with it, comes far baseline, a little hop step, and he got fouled. I think that one's going on Wallace. Yeah, it's going to go on Wallace. <laughs> Tell you what. White has been everywhere right now for the Geibel Gators. Able to track down that loose ball and just really showing a lot of hustle here early on for the Gators. I don't think Neighborhood Academy could shoot the ball any better than they are from the field right now. Tell you what, if they shoot like this all night long, it's going to be a long night for Geibel. Inbounds pass deflected out there by Shamar Simpson, so reprieve here for Jeffrey Johnson. Johnson right of the basket in the Bulldog zone. High feed goes into Jadis Kennedy up top. 
Kennedy on the far wing, almost lost the handle, regains, feeds it off down low, down to Mike Miller, who's too deep on the play, trying to pull it out, nobody home, goes right to John Wilkins. And Miller just kind of got in a bad position on the court. Here's Wallace looking for another three. Finally, a miss from the outside out the front of the rim. We get an offensive rebound from Simpson. Jumper just inside the free throw line, no good. Wallace going for the tip and can't find it. And Trayvon White, the backside rebound there for Geibel. Yeah, Wallace had good position underneath there, but just could not get that put back. Right now, Geibel getting beat on the offensive boards. Geibel trying to settle things down a little bit. 204 left here in the opening quarter. They're down 11. But Neighborhood Academy is at five threes here in this opening frame. Here's Jeffrey Johnson up top. Needs help. Gets it far side. Miller high arcing three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound goes there to John Wilkins for Neighborhood Academy. Wilkins coming back, going coast to coast. Couldn't finish. Jadis Kennedy, the rebound there for Geibel. Kennedy back through center and a foul call there on Brett Manns. That's his second. So now all of a sudden, two Bulldogs in foul trouble. Still a minute 42 to go here in this first quarter. Two on Mans, two on Ogbani. That one on the floor, fifth team foul. And Jeffrey Johnson will trigger it in. Just inside the Neighborhood Academy zone. Now you'll have Nizim Daniels checking into the game, replacing Mans. Gaba with only one team foul so far in this first half. And Coach Jordan Marks telling me that Daniels is the team's best defender. Trayvon White now up top for the Gators. 90 seconds left in this opening quarter. White a little hop step in the finish. Trayvon White is red hot for Geibel. He has 11 here in the opening quarter, but the Gators still trail by 9 at 22-13. to 13. Kind of surprised they didn't put Daniels on White to try to slow him down. Wilkins, a little kick in the corner. Jalen Moore bounces back near side. I got a little hold here on the Gators. I think they're going to call that on a uh, Kalensic. I, I was trying to see here. No, it went on Miller. Yeah, it went on Miller. I was waiting to see who he, he kind of pointed. It looked like he was pointing to Johnson at first. His first team second nine shooting. Sent it to Courtney Wallace. Double team gets put over on the Gators force a turnover. And Jadis Kennedy comes back with a quick two. So Kennedy now with four Gators back to within seven down 22 to 15. Yeah, and Kennedy might have got fouled there. I think Neighborhood Academy got away with one. High scoring opening quarter. Azeem Daniels on the far side for Neighborhood Academy, fronted there by Kennedy. Daniels dancing all over the place. Near side, Jalen Moore swatted away by Trayvon White, deflected into the hands of Shamar Simpson, who kicks it out far side. Wallace misses on the three, and White the rebound there for Geibel. Trayvon White will bring it back across. Gators down seven. Great feed down low. And Jadis Kennedy comes free for a quick two. And that has Geibel back to within five now, 22 to 17. How good of a first quarter is Trayvon White having? And that foul is going to be on Johnson. That was away from the ball. A little contact there with Courtney Wallace in front of the Geibel bench. Wallace and Johnson exchanging some pleasantries there after the foul. Jesse Pockle will be checking in now on the Geibel side. I think he's going to give Johnson a little Correct. breather. Maybe Good move here, 28 seconds left in the quarter. Yeah, just get him to settle down there a little bit. Inbounds feed goes into Nazim Daniels on the Neighborhood Academy side. 22 seconds left in this opening quarter. Geibel's cut the Bulldogs lead back to five. And considering the fact that Neighborhood's drained five threes, it's pretty good. I would agree. I mean, they could be getting blown out right now, but... Really a nice little run here by the Gable Gators to end this first quarter. Wallace high on the right. Watch there by Kennedy. Five seconds left in the quarter. Wallace far side got bumped and fouled. Kennedy doesn't like it, but there was contact there on the far baseline. Yeah, it's a, tell you what, actually, Courtney Wallace initiated that contact, kind of stopped and might have jumped into court. I mean, jumped into Kennedy a little bit. But That's what a good player does, though. Yeah, I would agree. That's what you do when you get away with it. He's going to pick up the first foul on Kennedy. And Wallace, an opportunity for some late points here in the opening quarter, drains the first of two free throws. He has six here in the opening quarter. Neighborhood Academy's lead back up to six at 23-17. to He got a nice-looking stroke, too. Good-looking shooter. Second of two free throws up on the way. This one no good. Kalensic pulls down the rebound for Geibel, and White tries to go coast-to-coast -coast on a long shot, but it's going to come up short. So we played a quarter of basketball. It's 23-17. Neighborhood Academy over Geibel. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. They will gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair 
and they will work with your insurance company. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Proud to sponsor local sports. South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon has spent his life helping others. Now in his 18th year of service, previously served as our district for 20 years, announced he would like to continue as supervisor by seeking re-election. a great team together in the Union for Rick Vernon, supervisor. Paid for by the candidate. Back here at Peters Township High School, Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live, Trib Live High School Sports Network video feed, and Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios, our live video stream, courtesy of Ranker Lincoln, Dr. Mark Rabat, and attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf, LLP. Nice to have you along with us for a Wednesday night of high school basketball playoff action. We'll have two games on WMBS tomorrow featuring Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. White with a quick jumper near side, no good, and Courtney Wallace out of the pack with it there for Neighborhood Academy. Quickly into the corner, Simpson for three, no good. Foul called here off the rebound. Or is that going to be on the shot? They're going to call on a shot. Wow. I think they're going to call that on number four, Trayvon White, and that's going to be his second. Wow. Didn't think there was a whole lot of contact there, but it's going to send Shamir Simpson to the line. Simpson drained two three, scored six points in that opening quarter. Again, we mentioned our schedule for tomorrow. Laura Highlands and Bell Vernon here at Peters at 8 o'clock. Uniontown taking on North Catholic at Norwin at 8 o'clock. Both games live on the WMBS Facebook page and through the Trib Live High School Sports Network. First of two free throws, good for Shamara Simpson. Yeah, we should have just got a room. Yes, Tony, you'll be with me here tomorrow. <laughs> Billy's going to be up at Norwin with Gary. We'll have Snags, Donnie Santor with us for Laura Highlands and Bell Vernon tomorrow. Second of three free throws. Might have said two earlier. It's three, and Shamar Simpson drains the second as well. Now White's going to have to be careful. As we said, picked up his second foul. Still 7.41 to go here in his second quarter. Third of three, good for Simpson. He has nine. Perfect there at the free throw line. And suddenly Geibel down nine again at 26 to 17. 7.35 left before halftime. Neighborhood Academy five for six from the line here in this first half. White back across, sends it near side, Jadis Kennedy. Kennedy jumper near elbow off the mark. And the rebound underneath pulled down there by Shamar Simpson. Too much mustard on that jumper from Kennedy. Yeah, they have Wilkins guarding Kennedy right now and a pretty good job right there on that set. Far side, Jalen Moore, a little shovel back on the wing to Wallace. Wallace, pretty crossover, ankle breaker, but missed on the three. Actually sent Jeffrey Johnson down on the play, and another foul called here off the rebound, and this one's going to go on Neighborhood Academy. That's going to go on Daniels. The push as they went for the rebound. He just pushed Jesse Paco out of the way. Now Neighborhood Academy going to show a little full-court press. They just token. They're backing off a little bit. As White will bring it across here on the near side. Geibel still down nine at 26 to 17. We played a minute here in the second quarter. White back edge of the zone, Jeffrey Johnson. Johnson, a little ball fake. Now works off to his right. Touches off to Pockel. Pockel coming near side. In a little trouble, gets out of it. Floats up a jumper that's too strong. And on the back side, another rebound pulled down by Neighborhood Academy and Courtney Wallace. Here's Wallace driving back, a lot of contact. Shot attempt, no good. You had a swat there from Grady. Kept alive on the offensive glass and shoveled up and in by John Wilkins. So Wilkins, a double figures already with 11. That's the lead right now for Neighborhood Academy at 28-17. to 17. Jeffrey Johnson coming back, and they're going to call a travel. Wow. Johnson just a little out of control right there. And he's going to get called for the travel. You know, you talked about a high-scoring first quarter. Tell you what, Brian, when these two teams played earlier, Neighborhood Academy outscored Gobble 34 to 23 in the fourth quarter. So that's a lot of points for a team in a fourth quarter. And kind of carry that over here to the first half against the Gators at Peters Township. Wallace up top looking for another three. That one's spinning out. Rebound tipped around and they control there by Trayvon White. Ball came loose. And the rule is out of bounds, I think, here off of Jalen Moore. Neighborhood Academy is saying that Moore picked it up after it was out. Referee's not agreeing with things. Well, I think what happened was whenever White tried to make a dribble, it went off the foot of a Neighborhood Academy player and it went out of bounds. And they just didn't get there in time to save it. So Gators with the basketball back. Down 11 as Trayvon White brings it back across. 
White up top. Far side, Jeffrey Johnson. Johnson comes far baseline. A little leaner off the side of the rim. No good. Offensive rebound down. A little Pockel got swatted and fouled. And he'll have two free throws upcoming. Yeah, I think they're going to call that foul on Shamar Simpson. So that's going to be Simpson's first. Now Geibel going to be in a one-on-one -on -one here for the next few minutes. 17 fouls on Neighborhood Academy. Scott McLean and Bobby Madison checking in on our live stream tonight. Bobby Madison said that crossover that we saw earlier looked like a young Tony. <laughs> I didn't know you played like that back in your day, Tony. As Pockle misses on the first of two free throw attempts here for the Gators. I don't know about that. It might have been my ankles going. I yes. wasn't the guy dribbling. Might have been the guy on the other side, right? <laughs> That's it. Hires Pockle for a second of two up on the way. This one no good as well. Rebound down low. Pulled down by Jalen Moore. Off and across. Behind the pack there. Daniels lays it up and in. Nobody got back to cover Nazim Daniels. Full timeout, Geibel. Gators in some trouble down 13, 30 to 17. Neighborhood Academy, 531 left before halftime. We're back in 60. Here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Going on now at the other Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $149 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit charperchevy.com. Chevrolet, five new roads. Lease is through GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 5,999 cash trade with GM lease loyalty or conquest. Plus tax, title, fees, and payments. Security deposit waived. Sale ends February 28, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 724-99-8000. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, Combine your home, and guess what? That good neighbor was surprised with great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Gators trigger it in down 13 after the timeout. Jadis Kennedy back across. Kennedy driving, got fouled there as Shamar Simpson came crashing in. Now Simpson picks up his second foul. So two fouls each on Simpson, Manns, and Ogbonny. Two fouls on Trayvon White for the Gators. You're gonna that was have the eighth team foul on Neighborhood Academy. It's going to be a one and one here for Kennedy. It was ruled nine shooting. They're going to bring Manns back in. Checked in for Simpson, who picked up his second, but Manns has two as well. Front end of the one and one, good from Kennedy. That's the first point Geibel scored here in the second quarter. And we have 526 left before halftime. Gators down 12 at 30 to 18. Yeah, to put together a nice little run at the end of the first quarter, but really just went cold here so far in this second quarter. Kennedy drains the second as well. In fact, Kennedy and White have been the only two Gators to score so far in this game. And Geibel down 11 to 30 to 19, 518 left before halftime. It's Courtney Wallace sends it off here on the near wing to John Wilkins. And Wilkins bumped. No charge. Charge call there on Wilkins. Big call. I think they're going to call that. I, they might call that on Mans. I think they're going to call Mans for a block. You're right. That's his yeah, third. That's going to be his third. So that's big. They just put him back in because Simpson picked up his second. So now Mans is going to have to check out. They're going to bring in Ogbonny back in. Also going to bring in number 24, Jalen Moore. And Braden Curry in for Jesse Pockle on the Geibel side. Pockle might have taken a shot up high. There's Jeffrey Johnson out of his own zone. Gators down 11, 30 to 19. 506 left before halftime. Johnson far side, Trayvon White. White a little ball fake on the far elbow. Leans inside, shot with the left hand. No good. Grady was going for the save. And they're going to say that ball was tipped out of bounds off of Neighborhood Academy. Well, they're going to say he got a little piece of that shot on the block. <laughs> Jordan Marks is livid, and the Gators go quickly on the feed in there to Jadis Kennedy, scoops it up and in. So good break there for Geibel. Kennedy with 10. Gators back to within 9, down 30 to 21. Yeah, just need to capitalize on that break right now. Marks, he's beside himself over there. It's kind of like one of those football plays. You think it might go to replay. You snap it off real quick. That's what Geibel did there on the inbounds pass. Exactly. They want another official to come over and overrule. Deep three up top. An air ball there from Jalen Moore. Goes out of bounds and over to Geibel. So Geibel trying to corral a little momentum here, Tony, in the closing five minutes of the second quarter. They're going to have to do something right now. I mean, you got to figure, Brian, they've only scored... Four points in this second quarter. 
And Jeffrey Johnson back across. I think you have to get some other players other than Kennedy and White involved tonight as well. White has it right now. Bounce pass into Kennedy. And a hold call there on Neighborhood Academy. That's a pretty good call, though. you got to say, Kennedy was breaking towards a basket. Probably was going to get an easy layup on a nice feed by White. But that's going to be on John Wilkins. It's going to be his first. Team 10th, though, so two shots here for Jadis Kennedy. Well, now it's imperative for Geibel to, as we said, hit these free throws in this tight game. First of two free throws good for Jadis. He's 5 of 5 from the foul line. Now you know what that means. He'll probably <laughs> miss the next one. So White and Kennedy both have scored 11 points in this game. Second of two, good for Jadis Kennedy. So he's 6 of 6, so so much there for putting the eyes on. Yeah, well, good thing you didn't hear the announcers. Yes. I was with Soup tonight, or S was watching. I probably would have heard more of it. Every bit of. Here's Courtney Wallace, baseline near side. Easy foul to pick up there on Caden Grady, who made some pretty good contact there on the jumper from Jalen Moore. Yeah, really not a good foul. I mean, that was a jumper. He I checked that jumper from Courtney Wallace. Yeah, Wallace is going to go back to the line. Wallace, one for two on the night. He scored six so far. All in the opening quarter. Wallace, 6'1", sophomore guard. First of two free throws here, no good. Missed the entire second half of that game against Mapletown. According to head coach Jordan Marks, has, has been a little dinged up. Looks all right, though, so far tonight. <laughs> I would say. Second of two free throws, good there for Wallace. So he has seven. Neighborhood Academy's lead back up to eight at 31 to 23 as we go under four minutes left here in the second quarter. Trayvon White back across. White driving, a lot of contact. He's fouled. He's going to pick up the second foul on Wilkins. He got some big-time foul trouble right now on the Neighborhood Academy side. Simpson with two, Wilkins with two, Manns with three, Agbani with two. Remember, normal starter Nathan Hargrove not dressed tonight. So you have to worry about the depth on the Bulldogs side. Whoa. And the first of two free throws, an air ball there from Trayvon White. And as you mentioned, really, the Bulldogs don't go very deep. No. That's a rare air ball from the foul line from White. He's normally a pretty good shooter from anywhere on the court. He missed both free throws. Geibel though, able to corral the offensive rebound. Good save there from Kalensic. Pulling it back to Jeffrey Johnson here on the near wing. Tries to spin inside, lost the handle. Ball comes loose, goes into the backcourt, and Courtney Wallace scoops it up there for Neighborhood Academy. Back up top, Daniels for three off the back iron. No good, and Johnson on the back side picks up the rebound there for Geibel. Yeah, should have just pulled it back out, maybe taken a little time off the clock, look Johnson, for a better shot. Johnson was trying to go into Kalensic. Ball got deflected. Gators in a little trouble. Get out of it again with Johnson. Shovels back White. Thought about the deep three. Resets between the circles. Now works here high on the left, directing traffic. 3.15 left before halftime. Gators the basketball down eight. Here's White spinning left of the lane. Threw up a shot with the left hand. No good. Got it back and put it up and in. Trayvon White, his first two of the second quarter, has 13 for the game, and Geibel back to within six, down 31 to 25. And again, a little mini run here by Geibel to end this quarter. Closed it to six after trailing by, what, 13? Shamar Simpson up top, a little crossover, long too far, wing off the mark. Gators try a little tip out, they get it. Kalensic, touch forward, Kennedy. Ball comes loose, and throwing it high in the air, there is Daniels, and a push called. Kennedy. And it's going to be on Kennedy. That's going to be his second. Yeah, not a very good foul right there. And really just trying to do too much. Got a little ahead of himself. Couldn't control the ball. Was tipped out of bounds. And his neighborhood academy went up for it. Kennedy just kind of pushed the defender in the back. He's looking around, but really not a very good foul. So he has one two. Back on the other side, too. Yeah, he has two, and Trayvon White has two. And as you mentioned, a number of fouls on the Neighborhood Academy side. Yeah, Wallace shooting the free throws. Front end of the one and one, no good, but Geibel can't get a rebound. It's brought down there by Ogbonny. Sent it back out to Wallace, who drains another three. Missed so it. Wallace now with 10 and adding up the threes here on the Neighborhood Academy six. side. It's a six made three of the game for the Bulldogs. They lead by nine at 34 to 25. 222 up here in the second. Gators get an answer back from Trayvon White. Connects from the outside, so White now with 16 on the Geibel side, and Geibel back to within six, down 34 to 28 with 2.10 left before halftime. And White, I was kind of surprised he pulled up for that three, but 
was wide open and able to knock it down. Pulled it up with confidence. Wallace comes back. Missed there on a three. White the rebound. Thought about the home run ball. Pulls it back down and brings it across. Here's White driving left of the lane. Has a seam. Takes it and makes it. Trayvon White, seven here in the second. 18 for the game. White and Kennedy still the only two Gators who have scored on the Geibel side so far tonight. And they're back to within four down, 34 to 30. 140 left before halftime. Yeah, and that three that Trayvon White knocked down, that was the first by Geibel here tonight. Courtney Wallace again on the near side for Neighborhood. Comes inside, a little bump. And they're going to call a foul here on the floor against Tom Kalensic. Yeah, that's going to be on Kalensic. And really just kind of bodied up Wallace a little bit as he drove to the lane. And at this point, not a bad foul by Kalensic. Really didn't want to give up that easy layup. And Wallace has been struggling from the line. Only, what, two for five here tonight. And he also called it on the floor. So it's a one and one eighth team foul on Geibel. Yeah, and Wallace missed the front end earlier on the last trip to the foul line. Wallace front end here on the way, and this one good. Now you knew that was going to go. So Wallace with 11. Both Wilkins and Wallace with 11 on the Neighborhood Academy side. Second of two free throws good again for Courtney Wallace. And we're going to have a Neighborhood Academy timeout. So it's 36-30, Neighborhood Academy over Geibel, 131 left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Come join Geibel. Junior Senior High School on March 25th and 26th at the State Theater Center for the Arts in Uniontown as they take a trip to Neverland and proudly present Peter Pan. Show times are 7 p.m. on Saturday, March 25th and 2 p.m. on Sunday, March 26th. Tickets are $15 and can be purchased beginning February 22nd at the State Theater box office or by visiting their website at statetheater.info. For more information, please call 724-628-5600. February is the month for hearts and the time when a girl starts dreaming about the prom and her perfect gown. Finding that perfect dress is closer than you think. Stop in past Bridal Boutique in Connellsville where you'll find the newest styles and many are sale price. Plus, enjoy the convenience of shopping locally. Winter hours at Pat's Bridal Boutique are Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday until 2, closed Sunday and Monday. Pat's Bridal Boutique, West Crawford Avenue in Connellsville. Johnson missed on a drive for Geibel as we come back. Neighborhood Academy, the rebound, and Courtney Wallace brings it back across. Neighborhood Academy, the basketball up 6-36-30. to, 36 to 30. Wallace up top, another deep three, hit it again. Courtney Wallace running out of room on my scoring column for Wallace. <laughs> Tony, the way he's hitting him tonight. Tell you what, Manny, that shot was from about 25 feet. Takes the Bulldogs' lead now up to 9 at 39-30. to 30. Trayvon White back for Geibel. White here on the near wing, driving right in the lane, put it up and in, Trayvon White. So White now, nine here in the second, 20 for the game. And Geibel back to within seven again at 39 to 32. Far side, a little bounce pass there off to Brett Wilkins in trouble. Lobs it back to Wallace here between the circles, 27 seconds left before halftime. Wallace takes it out, edges of the zone, double team Ooh. comes out, high feed, nice save there, Jalen Moore, keeping it alive, touch there off to Manns, back between the circles, Manns works off to Courtney Wallace, down to 10 seconds left before halftime, neighborhood academy holding for the last shot, up seven, now it's go time, Wallace fires another three, missed this one, offensive rebound, Ogbani missed on the putback, that's going to be it. As the second quarter comes to an end with Neighborhood Academy leading Geibel by 7 at 39 to 32. Stay tuned for our halftime show. It's on the way next. Brought to you by the Radcliffe Law Firm here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Announcing the Megan Mega Sale. Going on now where you can save up to $2,500 off MSRP on select new 2022 F-150s. That's right, $2,500 under MSRP. The 2023s are arriving daily, so hurry in while the selection is the greatest. Our F-150 Mega Sale is still underway. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, GM here at Megan Ford, and we've been receiving truckloads of new inventory, including the much sought after new Broncos, Bronco Sports, Escape, Explorers, Super Duties, and even the Mustang Mach 1, GTs, and more. So hurry in and save up to 2500 off MSRP. Select new 2022 F-150 during our Megan Mega Sale. 724-628-3720 or visit MeganFord.com. Route 119, Connorsville. Your friends in the car and truck business. Must take 2022 XLT delivery from dealer stock using APR program number 14154 and 4323. 
you're ready for a dental makeover or in need of basic dental care, the office of Dr. Mark Rabatin is right for you. Dr. Rabatin uses the latest advancement in the industry to achieve comprehensive care that will preserve your smile for years to come by providing general dentistry services. Call today to schedule your appointment at their modern office located in the Fayette Business Park, 724-437-4991 for the fine art of dentistry. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Amadar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel to school in the Fayette County area for more than three years. Amadar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highland School basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information, call 724-439-3164. That's 724-439-3164. Or stop into their office at Amadar Transit 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. I'm Melinda Delarose. As an assistant district attorney, I've protected Fayette County families and fought to uphold our constitutional rights. As a prosecutor and trusted local attorney, I've provided victims of crime with a strong voice and put criminals behind bars. My pledge to you as judge is to follow the law, always maintain the highest ethical standards, and to run a courtroom that's respectful of your time and tax dollars. I'm Melinda Delarose, asking for your vote for judge. Paid for by friends of Melinda Delarose. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checks and windshield clean. Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station serving the Uniontown area and the same location for over 47 years. Joby's Golf offers walkout services, general repairs, tire repair, fenced-in storage lots, state inspection, golf products, and AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Whether you have trouble swallowing, acid reflux, abdominal pain, bowel habit difficulties, or fatty liver disease, our team digest is here for you. And importantly, if you have reached age 45, we urge you to follow the American Cancer Society guidelines and get a screening colonoscopy. To learn more, call us at 724-437-7677 or visit us at usdigestivehealth.com. Back here at halftime at Peters Township High School, 39-32, Neighborhood Academy leading Guy Boltoni as your halftime stats. They're being brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. All right, for the Neighborhood Academy Bulldogs, they were led in that first half by Courtney Wallace, who had 15 points. He had three made threes on the night. Shamar Simpson had nine. John Wilkins had 11. Nazim Daniels with two. And Junior Ogbani with two. They scored 23 in the first, 17 in the second for their total of 39. They were 8 for 11 from the foul line, and as Brian mentioned, seven made threes in that first half. Three by Wallace, three by Simpson. I'm sorry, two by Simpson and two by John Wilkins. For the Gobble Gators, pretty easy scoring. <laughs> Trayvon White had 20 points. He had the only made three for Gobble. And Jadis Kennedy, six points in both quarters for his total of 12. They scored 17 in the first, 15 in the second for their total of 32. They were 7 for 12 from the foul line in that first half. And as mentioned, they had one made three compared to seven for the Bulldogs. That made three by Trayvon White for the Geibel Gators. And one final score already in from one eight quarter final round games. Union a 100 to 47 win over Aquinas Academy. That game started at 6 o'clock tonight. So Union moving on to the semifinals. Again, the winner of this one will take on either Rochester or Monte Christian. Those two schools playing at Moon tonight. Don't have a score on that one yet. When we do, we'll pass it along. We mentioned could be a busy next couple of days. The local high school hoops, of course, a doubleheader here tomorrow. There's two games on the air. Laurel Highlands taking on Bell Vernon here at Peters at 8 o'clock. Uniontown at North Catholic also at Norwin at 8 o'clock. The loser of this game plays in a PIAA play-in game on Friday night. So if the Gators fall here tonight, they'll play on Friday. If they win, they'll play on Saturday. Also on Saturday, 
The quarterfinal round losers of 4A games will play in PIAA play-in games. You have the 4A semis on Monday. You have a play-in round for 1A on Tuesday. A 4A play-in round on Wednesday. And, of course, the 1A championship on Thursday. 4A championship next Friday. Here it's Neighborhood 39, Geibel 32. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Going on now, it's the other Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $149 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit charperchevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is through GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 5999 cash trade with GM lease loyalty or conquest, plus tax, title, fees, and for payment, security deposit waived. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 7499-8000. Dinner's great. It's one of your top three favorite meals. You just don't want to have to make it. Well, with Jimmy John's, you don't have to. Whether you live in a sandwich delivery zone or head into the store, you can always get a freaky fresh sandwich. Click to order at jimmyjohns.com. Freaky fast, freaky good. Order online at jimmyjohns.com or call 724-437-6800 for delivery or curbside pickup. Jimmy John's, next to Walnut Hill Shop and Save. Planning a sports fundraiser? B Graphics makes it easy. B Graphics will set up an online store with hats, t shirts, hoodies, and other gear with game and go. Shipping, payment, B Graphics handles everything, and you get a check with the profit. Minimal effort, maximum success. Call or go online to set up your online store at bgraphics.com. B E E Graphics with an X.com. Best of the best, screen printing and embroidery, three years running. B Graphics.com. I'm attorney Bill Martin, partner at Radcliffe Law. I have experience in workplace accident cases for nearly 15 years. If you've been hurt at work and are trying to navigate a workers' compensation claim, are you being treated unfairly by your employer? When you're hurt at work, your employer's main goal is to get you back to work, but you may not be physically ready to do that. If you find yourself in a similar situation, call us at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. We'll meet with you at no cost. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Quality care doesn't have to be hard to find. NovaCare Rehabilitation has locations in New and Masontown and is accessible for all of your recovery needs. Same day appointment referral needed means making an appointment is an easy process. Industry leading treatments, including LBST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks, are available at both locations. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. Don't miss the opportunity to personalize your care with NovaCare. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? time for a call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new denture faster than other offices and can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer tooth whitening, clear braces, and same-day crowns. Call their office for your appointment today at 724-438-0241. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all Come states. Come join Geibel Catholic Junior Senior High School on March 25th and 26th at the State Theater Center for the Arts in Uniontown as they take a trip to Neverland and proudly present Peter Pan. Showtime's at 3 p.m. on Saturday, March 25th, 2 p.m. on Sunday, March 26th. Tickets are $15 and can be purchased beginning February 22nd at the State Theater box office or by visiting their website at statetheater.info. For more information, please call 724-628-5600. Third quarter underway, miss on the one side there from Shamar Simpson. But the Gators getting a quick two on the other end, Tony. Yeah, and a beautiful full-court pass there by Trayvon White to a wide-open Jadis Kennedy for a nice, easy layup. It gives Kennedy 14. It's 39-34, Neighborhood Academy opening minute of this third quarter. John Wilkins up top, had it taken away. Here's Kennedy coming back for what should have been an easy two, and he missed a bunny there, Tony, right on the doorstep. After it was all set up by Mike Miller at a steal. And on the other side, missing a quick three is Ogbani and Guy with another rebound. I think Kennedy thought he got fouled, but really 
didn't take that ball strong there. They're going to try to do it in the middle of the lane. There's Kennedy again. A little scoop shot off the mark that time. Rebound pulled down by Brett Manns of Neighborhood Academy. Again, both of these teams having some foul issues, especially on the Neighborhood Academy side as Wallace misses on a long two. Ball out of bounds and back over to Geibel. So seeing some quick shots here, Tony, on both sides. And right now a little helter-skelter here to start this third quarter. Coach Marks doesn't agree with that one either, but I think it was knocked out of bounds by Manns. So Gobble to retain possession here. 6.40 to go. Jeffrey, quarter. Jeffrey Johnson brings it across. Picked up by Shamar Simpson. Johnson barks out of play. Little bounce pass off to his left to Trayvon White. With Kennedy setting the screen. White works off to his left. Got a little dump down there to Kennedy. And a foul called here on the floor. You think that's on uh I think Mans it's on Mance. Yes, I do. It's going to be his fourth. It is. So now it's going to change the way that Neighborhood Academy, you're losing a lot of size right there. It's 6'3", junior forward. And they're going to bring in Nazim Daniels, a 5'9", senior guard. So really, Gobble might be able to make a little hay underneath the hoop. Mans came in averaging eight points a game. Inbound speed went to Grady. Lost the handle. Look out here. Coming back, Shamar Simpson takes it to the rack. And he came up short on the drive, much like the Kennedy missed earlier. Goes out of bounds and over to Gobble. Yeah, Wallace with a near steal. Might have got away with a foul there but knocked it out of bounds, so Geibel going to inbound it, trailing only by five. Jadis Kennedy off to Trayvon White on the far side. 6-10 left here in the third. Geibel down 39-34. to White has it with Kennedy setting the screen. White has the seam, comes inside, leans and scores. Trayvon White cuts it to a one-possession game. White has 22 tonight for Geibel. Yeah, he's playing a fantastic game, really. Keeping the Gators in this game all by himself. Was solid in the first round as well. Had 25 and that went over Avella. Here's Neighborhood's John Wilkins coming back. Wilkins working right of the lane. Backing off there on Grady. Wilkins trying to come inside. Pulls it back out. Three on the way off the front of the rim. No good off Bonnie. And now here's Jadis Kennedy with the rebound. Racing back. Kennedy coming inside. Wanted a foul. Nothing called. Ball loose. And Courtney Wallace scoops it up there with numbers for Neighborhood Academy. He'll pull up near elbow. And missed on the jumper. Got his own rebound. Pulled it back near baseline. And connecting there, Shamar Simpson. So Simpson in double figures with 11. Neighborhood Academy back up five at 41 to 36 with 514 left here in the third. And just... Kennedy could not get that transi transition basket to go. He was looking for a foul, but really looked like pretty good defense here by Neighborhood Academy. It's twice he's missed on those transition hoops here in the opening three minutes of this third quarter. Jeffrey Johnson up top, shovels back. Trayvon White, jumper from the foul line, short. Rebound going right to Courtney Wallace again there for Neighborhood Academy, and a silly foul there for Jeffrey Johnson just stepping up in front and impeding his progress coming down the court. And Johnson's going to pick up his second foul. Now you're going to have Jalen Moore checking back in. Junior Ogbonny going to get a little break. Lead at five for Neighborhood Academy at 41 to 36. 449 left here in the third. Wilkins sends it in the backcourt there to Courtney Wallace. Wallace barks out of play, brings it across. Send far side over to John Wilkins. Trying to pivot off of Mike Miller. Wilkins staying with it, resets up top. Daniels thought about the three, comes inside, scoop shot off the mark, got his own rebound. Shovels it back out to Wallace, short on that three. Grady had the rebound, couldn't hang on. Wallace picks it up again, got swatted there by Grady. But the fourth attempt on the possession, coming inside on the drive there was Daniels. They're going to say it hit the shot clock, yes. or the, the game clock. I shouldn't say shot clock, but the game clock above the hoop. Now kill the ball and give it back to Geibel, but the... Gators giving the Bulldogs too many second chance opportunities. Yeah, and they got beat on the offensive glass in the first quarter, um, first half, I'm sorry. Really right now. Neighborhood Academy just controlling the boards. Kennedy will send it back in to Jeffrey Johnson here on the near side. Gators down five with the basketball. 4.15 left here in the third. Johnson up top. Sends it off to his right to Jadis, or to uh, Trayvon White, excuse me. Here's White coming right of the lane. Stops, pivots, stays with it, needs a little help. We'll pull it back to Jeffrey Johnson, edge of the zone. Johnson watched there by Wilkins. He'll kick it in the corner. Kennedy spots up for the three. It's an air ball. Goes right to John Wilkins underneath. And Wilkins coming back here for Neighborhood Academy. On the wing again to Wallace. Kicked far side there to Daniels. Daniels pulls it back off to the wing and now between the circles to Shamar Simpson. 
And we'll switch back again to Courtney Wallace. Wallace coming in, floater good, Courtney Wallace. His first two of the third quarter has 17 for the game and the Bulldogs lead back up to seven at 43 to 36 over Geibel with 3.26 left here in the third. Yeah, nice little pull up jumper there by Wallace. White underneath coming free, able to put it off the glass and in, Trayvon White. 24 points in this game, four here in the third. 43-38 Neighborhood Academy, 3.11 left here in the third. Courtney Wallace back across for the Bulldogs. Near wing, Jalen Moore. Bounces back up top, three from Wilkins in and out. Got his own rebound, comes back inside, floats it off the glass, no good. Ball still loose, third attempt here. Wallace got it to go. Can't keep on giving up all those second chance opportunities. Here are the Geibel Gators, Neighborhood Academy got three looks. And Wallace with a finish to give him 19 for the game and increase the lead back up to seven. Yeah, the Bulldogs, they're just able to crash the boards, really. Nobody underneath there by Geibel, and they're just able to pick up the loose balls at their own rate and whatever they wanted to do right now. They're Trayvon White back to Kennedy. It's been a two-man game the entire way for Geibel. This time Kennedy able to finish out in front. He has 16. White and Kennedy have been the only two Gators to score. Timeout on the court. Neighborhood Academy by five at 45-40 to 40 over Geibel. 228 left here in the third. We're back at 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Now it's the Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $149 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit theharperchevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is through GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 5999 cash trade with GM lease loyalty or conquest, plus tax, title, fees, and pertainment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. While supplies last, call other details at 724 Ready for an easier way to manage your cards? Get more power, peace of mind, and security with the new updated app from First Federal of Greene County. Set spending limits, view merchant details, subscriptions, and where your card is stored. Plus, off lost or stolen cards. It's card management on your terms. Download the updated app or visit ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 458729. Back here at Peters Township High School, 45 to 40. Neighborhood Academy leading Geibel, 228 left here in the 30 of Neighborhood Academy. Big time foul trouble right now, but on the Geibel side, Tony, only two players have scored. Yeah, and really, <laughs> you know, used to see Johnson scoring in double figures for Geibel, but right now he hasn't scored a point, and nobody else has either. Just got White and Kennedy with all the points for Geibel. Kaden Grady's been quiet as well. Neighborhood Academy's Jalen Moore bringing it across, has it up top, pulls back Wallace, kicked in the corner, three on the way, off the mark there, short was Simpson, Gators the rebound down to Jeffrey Johnson, got two deep, pulls it back out on the switch, now holds here, edge of the zone, watch there by Simpson, Johnson back on the inside, just kind of threw it up, shot attempt, no good, Kennedy got the offensive rebound and scores on the putback, so Kennedy, six here in the third, 18 for the game, Geibel back to within three again at 45-42. to 42. One possession game, but not for long. As Shamar Simpson banks that one home, gives him 13 for the game. And another timeout with 151 left here in the third. Neighborhood Academy 47, Geibel 42. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. February is the month for hearts and the time when a girl starts dreaming about the prom and her perfect gown. Finding that perfect dress is closer than you think. Just stop in past Bridal Boutique in Connellsville where you'll find the newest style. And many are sale priced. Plus, enjoy the convenience of shopping locally. Winter hours at Pat's Boutique are Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5. Saturday until 2. Closed Sunday Monday. Bridal Boutique. Crawford Avenue in Connellsville. Walk into their showroom and you'll know their commitment to customer service. Ranker Lincoln Motor Sales, Fayette County's exclusive Lincoln dealer, owned and operated by the Ranker family since 1950. Whether you need to purchase or service a new or pre-owned Lincoln, you've come to the right place. Ranker Motor now has a nice selection of cars and trucks with new cars on the way. Just two miles south of Connellsville on Route 119, call 724-628-8500 or visit them online, RankerLincoln.com. As we come back, a quick two for Trayvon White. So White now with 26, and Geibel has cut the Neighborhood Academy lead again. Tony down to three at 47 to 44. Yeah, and a strange play right there. White was double teamed at one point in time. Then all of a sudden, it looked like the C parted, and he went in for the easy layup. Up top, Jalen Moore bounce pass off to his right to John Wilkins. Game starting to tighten up here a little bit. Closing minutes of this third quarter. 
Courtney Wallace up top, back again to Shamar Simpson. Geibel coming out a little bit defensively, and there's Nassim Daniels, long three, hit it again. So Daniels now with five. It's now eight made threes in this game on the Neighborhood Academy side, and they lead by six at 50 to 44. And just wide open, able to just square up, take the easy shot. White driving, had it knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Geibel there here in the go. Academy zone and a technical foul called here. And not a very good play there. Daniels was able to knock it out of White's hand as he went for the layup, but then mouthed off and got called for the technical. So he's going to give pick up his second foul. He kind of tossed up the three fingers after that last three as well. Yeah, just not a very good move, and especially by a senior. You so got to be more heady. Looks like they're going to have Kennedy shoot the foul shots on the technical. And why not? He's six of six so far for the game. Right. The Gators still down six at 50 to 44 with 51 seconds left here in the third. Well, they're going to get the ball back as well. Correct. So Two with really the ball trying to cut into this Bulldogs lead. Well, a chance for a five-point trip. Correct. First of two free throws, no good there for Kennedy. His first missed free throw of the night. Now six for seven. Kennedy now is second of two. This one on the way and good. So Jadis Kennedy now. Seven here in the third, 19 for the game. It's 50-45 Neighborhood Academy with 51 seconds left here in the third quarter. Yeah, 26 and 19. <laughs> White and Kennedy. And, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Jesse Pockel had two free throw attempts. Missed them both in the second quarter, but no other Gator has been able to score this game. Kennedy off to White. And a foul called here again on Neighborhood Academy. Might be the third on Simpson. It's going to be on Daniels. Oh, Daniels, okay. Yep. His third. Yep. So that's going to be his third. He picked up the technical and then another quick foul there. Johnson in again to Kennedy. Holds near side. Trying to come between defenders. Comes near baseline. Lost the handle. Regains. Tries to reposition down low. Near block. Missed his first shot attempt. Got it back. Was looking for the end one. Shot wouldn't drop, but he was fouled. Now hustled after his own rebound, but just couldn't get the put back. They're going to call that on Jalen Moore. That's only going to be his first. But Moore, probably a pretty good foul there to not give up the easy layup. Correct. And Kennedy came very close, though, to still pulling that one in. Now the shot wouldn't drop. We get two free throws here. First of two, no good. So Kennedy is now, after making his first six, has missed two of his last three. And it Geibel still down five at 50 to 45. Only 37 seconds left in this third quarter. Kennedy second of two again, no good. So Kennedy's missed three of his last four. Rebound pulled down there by John Wilkins. He'll bring it across here for Neighborhood Academy. They lead by five, final 30 seconds of this third quarter. Wilkins will switch back with Jalen Moore. Has it high on the left, will poke there from Trayvon White. Wilk or Moore, excuse me, regains in the backcourt and brings it back across. Sends it off to his left again to John Wilkins. Wilkins kicks it back in the corner there to Shamar Simpson. Ooh. Simpson now back on the wing, holds high on the left with 10 seconds left here in the quarter. Simpson tries to spin around Kennedy, comes inside, scoop shot, good. That was a tough shot, but Simpson got it to drop to give him a 15 for the game and give the Neighborhood Academy Bulldogs a seven-point lead over Geibel at 52 to 45, heading to the fourth, and we're back at 60 here on the Sea Operata Group High School Sports Night. Get the family care that is right for you with WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Primary Care. Uniontown Hospital provides not only emergency medical aid, they also offer a variety of primary care options and locations to meet your needs. Your primary care physician is your first point of contact when it comes to medical care. Wellness is their primary concern, which makes convenient and coordinated care essential. With a network of board-certified physicians and offices located in Uniontown, Connellsville, Scottsdale, and Carmichael, it has never been easier to get care that you trust. Specializing in family practice and internal medicine with qualifications to treat all members of your family, WVU primary care physicians are here to get to know you individually and to provide you with personalized care. Whether you're feeling under the weather or coming in for your annual checkup, WVU is in Uniontown Hospital primary is ready to get all your medical needs. UniontownHospital.com for patient contact information. Back here at Peters Township High School, start of the fourth quarter. Neighborhood Academy, a 52-45 lead 
Over Geibel, Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dines behind the camera, Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Union Town Hospital Studios. Our live video stream courtesy of Ranker Lincoln, Dr. Mark Rabatin, and attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Wood at Watson Mundorf LLP. And Gabel going to have to turn it up here on the defensive end. Missed a few easy layups in that third quarter. Geibel gets the basketball to start the fourth, working right to left as we describe it. There's Johnson left of the lane to Trayvon White, trying to back his way in. White a little pivot over up top, long too good for Braden Curry. So finally, someone other than Kennedy or White scoring on the Geibel side. It's Braden Curry with a quick jumper. Gators back to within five, down 52 to 47. Yeah, and a wide open shot right there for Curry and able to knock it down there from the foul line. Brings Gabel back to within five. It's John Wilkins for Neighborhood Academy. Wilkins will shovel off to Courtney Wallace. Wallace up top, little bump. Is that a charge? No, blocking foul, foul call there on Jeffrey Johnson. Everybody, oh no, they, look, they're going to call a It is block. a charge. Wow, he well, initially signaled, though, blocking foul. Well, but they didn't call it. I think they called that on number 45. Oh, so that was away that's from the ball? Be, yeah, it's going to be on Daylon Evans, who wow. checked into the game. He's going to get called for the blocking foul. Yeah, I didn't think, I mean, Wallace really didn't initiate much contact, but you could see Johnson must have been fighting through that pick. Head coach Jordan Marks didn't like the call either on the Neighborhood Academy side as Trayvon White comes back for another quick two. White has scored 28 in this game. Geibel back to within three again at 52-49. to 49. A little teardrop finish again coming back. Courtney Wallace to give him 21. Yeah, Wallace, a nice-looking player for his sophomore. Really Jordan Marks has to be pretty happy for the next coming year. Kind of floated that one up and in. will turn and shoot there. Jeffrey Johnson gets it to go. So the Gators finally starting to get some production. Other than Kennedy and White, both Curry and Johnson field goals here on the fourth. Gators again back to within three, down 54 to 51. That's the closest they've been since the opening quarter. Ooh, near steal there, too, by Kennedy. Knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Neighborhood Academy here in the Geibel zone. And this might open up a little bit. If you can have Johnson and even Curry hit a couple shots, might open up a little bit more for Kennedy underneath. And right now, Trayvon White just having a game of his life. Here's Wilkins high on the left with a screen set. Wilkins coming far wing and in, driving it, laying it up and in. John Wilkins' his first points in the second half. Had 11 at the break, now 13 for the game. Neighborhood Academy back up 5 at 56 to 51 over Geibel. 6.27 left here in the fourth. Johnson flipping it off to Trayvon White, left of the lane. White on the inside, leans in, couldn't get the shot to go. Gets his own rebound, trying to go back up, deflected back, and save there, Braden Curry. Pulls it back out to Jadis Kennedy. Kennedy near corner, double team. Kicks it out over to Johnson, open far wing for three. It's going to be short, but it ah. bounced in. It went off the front of the rim and somehow bounced in for Jeffrey Johnson to give him five fourth quarter points and pull Geibel back to within two at 56 to 54. Kind of a silly foul there from Trayvon White trying to stop Wallace. Kind of grabbed him there on the far wing. Not exactly sure what he was thinking about there. Looked like Coach Porter wanted a timeout and didn't get it after the made basket. So he's discussing things with the referee, but really White commits his third foul. I'm not real sure what he was thinking. I think he thought that they should have gotten a timeout with it, but you have Neighborhood Academy looking for an intentional foul, which I don't know if I'd really go along with that. Well, Guy will get their timeout now. 556. Check that. 557 left here in the fourth. Neighborhood Academy 56. Guy 54. We're back at 60 here on the CR Brown Group High School Sports Night. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Convenient location at 4 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's Thursday through Friday from 9 to 5. Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your safe. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases, but most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis & Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 
5.57 left in regulation. Neighborhood Academy 56, Geibel 54. Winner advances to the semifinals coming up on Saturday. Loser will play a PIAA state play-in game coming up on Friday. I hope we're off on Friday, Brian. Yes. <laughs> that would be the only game we would have would be if Geibel would play in a play-in game on Friday. If they would take on Rochester, they'd host. If they played Amani, they'd travel to Amani. But Amani's certainly a big favorite over Rochester tonight in a 1-8 game. Neighborhood Academy here with the basketball. Courtney Wallace to bring it back across. Watch there by Jeffrey Johnson. Wallace drives in. Floater came up short. Jadis Kennedy, the rebound there for Geibel. Off to Trayvon White in a little bit of traffic. And now Neighborhood Academy backing off. And Geibel, Tony, could actually take the lead with a made three on this possession. Yeah, and really, they've just hung in all night long. Johnson up top. Needs help. Floats it near side down to Trayvon White. Watch there by Nazim Daniels. White staying with it here on the near wing. White now going off to his left. A little pivot, needs help. Hands off, Kennedy who ties the game down low. Jadis Kennedy now with 21. We're knotted up at 56 with 5.13 left here in the fourth. Buckle up for the finish. Well, this is everything we expected it to be, Brian. We knew it would be close. We've got a good game here. Courtney Wallace back to Nazim Daniels for three and the lead back too strong. Loose on the far side, should be a jump ball it is. We'll go to the possession arrow. It favors Neighborhood Academy. Yeah, probably an ill-advised shot right there by Daniels. He was wide open, but really pretty deep. Much deeper than that 19-foot line. Junior Agbani to send it in. Goes on the far side to Wilkins, who works outside the arc. Pretty screen set. Wilkins gets back inside. Quit finish. Ball still loose. Tipped high in the air. And then controlled on the back side there by Trayvon White. Down the court to Johnson. Leads in on Wallace and gets the two to go to give the Gators the lead. Their first of the night. And Wallace coming. I'm sorry, Johnson coming alive here. Seven points in this fourth quarter. And he's going to get called for a foul. His third. Thought Wallace might have got away with a little wrap around there on the elbow, but they're going to call Johnson for his third. Still only three team fouls for Geibel in this second half. You have White and Johnson with three apiece on the personal side. Of course, you have Brent Manns, who's been sitting a lot for Neighborhood Academy with four. And there's Wallace back across. Good ball movement, kicked in the corner. Three balls, an air ball, and a big block down low. Trayvon White swatting it away from John Wilkins. Down the court to Johnson, who got fouled underneath. And Johnson will head to the line to shoot two. Oh, he's all right, Tony. He took a shot down low. I think he got a little floor burn there on that right knee as he went down. Let's see if they call. They're going to call the trainer out. UPMC Centers Rehab Services injury timeout. Brought to you by UPMC Centers for Rehab Services, the leaders in physical therapy. Visit physical therapist Jim Burns at 160 Wayland Smith Drive or phone 724-437-7500. The Centers for Rehab Services relief is closer than you think while they work on Johnson. We'll step aside for a quick 30-second timeout. Geibel leads it 58-56, 4.23 to play. We're back at 30 here on the CR Prada Group. High School Sports Night. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Good to see Jeffrey Johnson okay on the Geibel side. Looks like just a cramping situation there, Tony. Yeah, I thought he actually twisted an ankle there at first, but once the trainer went out and started stretching him out a little bit, now you're going to have number 15, Seth Dolan, checking in for Johnson. And he's going to be taking the foul shots. And Geibel, who trailed by as many as 13 in this game, now leads by two at 58 to 56. 423 left here in the fourth quarter. As Tony said, Seth Dolan shooting the free throws and drains the first of two. He's only a freshman. Big shots here in the WPIL quarterfinal round playoff game and drains the first of two. Tell you what, to put him in this situation in is pretty wild, yes. but really nice job by the freshman, at least to knock down the first one. Now Dolan for a second of two. The Geibel lead at three. And it stays at three as Dolan unable to connect. Rebound pulled down there by John Wilkins. 
Wilkins brings it across. 4-16 left in regulation. Neighborhood Academy, the basketball down by three. As Wilkins dances on the outside. Screen set. He comes near baseline. He's trapped. Needs help. Leans on the inside. Try to reposition. Couldn't get the shot to go. And Caden Grady, the rebound there for Geibel. And a smart move there by Kennedy to pull it back out. Don't be in a hurry right now. you got a three-point lead. Make sure you get a good shot. Jadis Kennedy now spinning, putting Whoa. it off the glass and in. And the Geibel lead at five. Their largest of the Knights. Coming back, floater Wallace, he's tough, gets a quick two, and a timeout, 3.42 to play. Geibel 61, Neighborhood Academy 58. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Announcing the Megan Mega Sale. Going on now where you can save up to $2,500 off MSRP on select new 2022 F-150s. That's right, $2,500 under MSRP. The 2023s are arriving daily, so hurry in while the selection is the greatest. Our F-150 Mega Sale is still underway. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, GM here at Megan Ford. And we've been receiving truckloads of new inventory, including the much sought after new Broncos, Bronco Sports, Escape, Explorers, Super Duties, and even the Mustang Mark 1 GTs and more. So hurry in and save up to 2500 off MSRP on select new 2022 F-150 during our Megan Mega Sale. Call 724-628-2720 or visit MeganFord.com. Route 119 Connorsville. Your friends in the car and truck business. Must take 2022 XLT delivery from dealer stock using APR program number 14154 and 4323. Geibel 61, Neighborhood Academy 58, 342 left here in the fourth quarter. Jadis Kennedy was cramping up during that timeout as well, Tony. Yeah, they were stretching him out. But hey, make sure everybody's okay for the final 342 here. It's been a great game tonight. Again, we'll have both the Uniontown game against North Catholic tomorrow along with Laurel Highlands and Bell Vernon. The Laurel Highlands Bell Vernon game will be played here. And Jeffrey Johnson also still cramping up. You can see it on his face right now, Tony. Yeah. As Geibel has the basketball, Johnson has it. That's going to be a backboard violation. If it's touched, it wasn't, but stolen there by Wallace. He missed the layup. Ball still loose. Wallace got it back. Another miss. Ball still loose underneath and kept alive there by Ogbonny. And now a foul called. And you have Wallace down on the play. They're going to call that foul on White. Did he not reestablish though over the timeline? I thought he did. I really did, but I don't know if they called a tip or what. I was looking for the signal. That's the fourth personal though on Trayvon White. Well, now you got to hope that that foul that he committed, that he thought there was going to be a timeout, doesn't come back to haunt Geibel. 327 a play, so a lot of time left on the clock. Courtney Wallace, first of two free throws, good. Wallace with 24 in this game. Neighborhood Academy back to within two of Geibel at 61 to 59. Wallace now five for eight from the line here tonight. Now they're going to spell Braden Curry as Mike Miller checks back into the game on the Geibel side. Second of two free throws here from Wallace on the way in good. So Wallace hitting them in the clutch. He has 25 for Neighborhood Academy. The Geibel lead at one at 61 to 60. Kennedy in the backcourt playing catch with White's and crosscourt far side to Johnson. Now White again and finally a cross here for the Gators. Back to Johnson, edge of the zone. Brings Jalen Moore out. Johnson works off to his left, switch back with Trayvon White, who again is out there with four personals on the Geibel side with 3.08 to play. Trayvon just holding. Geibel now leading by one and not as much of a hurry on this possession, Tony. Well, man-to-man -man being employed by Neighborhood Academy. Maybe just clear something out. I mean, nobody stopped White as he's taking it to the basket all night long. Johnson down baseline, floater there from Miller got blocked. And here's Wallace racing back for Neighborhood Academy. He'll take it right to the rack and lay it up and in. Courtney Wallace giving Neighborhood Academy the lead back at 62-61. to 61. Wallace has scored 27 in this game. That's what I have him as, too. The scoreboard has him at 29, but you and I both have the same number. We'll go along with that. Here's Johnson, edge of the zone now for the Gators. We need a basket down one. Far side, White. White down to Kennedy. Nice little shovel up and in. Jadis Kennedy, Geibel back in the lead by one at 63-62, to 62, and Kennedy went down. Kennedy's got a cramp. And he was cramping during the last sequence. That was his right leg during the last sequence. Now it's his left. He's going to have to check out here, and you'll have Thomas Kalensic checking into the game. Gators just one timeout left. You don't want to burn it in this situation. No. Neighborhood Academy with two remaining. In 2.19 to play, guy ball one point lead up 63 to 62. Get him some, some quick yeah, treatment here for yeah, Kennedy. Get him some fluid and 
get him back in this game. He's going to try to shake it off, but he's going to have to get stretched out, no doubt. You have Jalen Moore triggering it in here for Neighborhood Academy. Into the backcourt to Courtney Wallace. See if Neighborhood Academy can take advantage now with Kennedy out of the game here momentarily. Near wing to Wilkins. Wilkins coming near baseline. Back to Bonnie, who got fouled. That goes on Johnson. That's his fourth. It's going to be on Johnson. So he picks up his fourth. So now White and Johnson with four fouls each. Kennedy still being stretched out. In Neighborhood Academy, still not in the one and one Geibel will be in the one and one on the next foul by the Bulldogs. Here's Wallace coming near baseline. Wallace with a left-hand finish. Courtney Wallace, 10 here in the fourth, 29 for the game. Time it on the court. We'll take it as well. Neighborhood Academy back in the lead at 64-63 over Geibel. 155 left here in the fourth. We're back at 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. This is Tim Dye, Fayette County Clerk of Courts, and I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and Phillies, the Uniontown Red Raiders, the Geibel Gators and the Lady Gators, and the Brownsville Falcons on their great seasons and making the playoffs. You should be very proud. Now finish strong and bring home that championship trophy. My playoff has started, and I'm asking for your support as I'm running for re-election as your Clerk of Courts. So on May 16th, give Tim Dye another try paid for by the candidate. If you're ready for a dental makeover or in need of basic dental care, the office of Dr. Mark Rabatin is right for you. Dr. Rabatin uses the latest advancement in the industry to achieve comprehensive care that will preserve your smile for years to come by providing general dentistry services. Call today to schedule your appointment at their modern office located in the Fayette Business Park, 724-437-4991 for the fine art of dentistry. 155 left in regulation. Neighborhood Academy 64, Geibel 63. Going to have to thank our live video stream sponsors tonight. Ranker Lincoln, Dr. Mark Rabatin, and attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP. Geibel with the basketball. Down one, and you have Jadis Kennedy still being worked on on the Geibel bench tone. Yeah, they're trying to get him up now, and he's got to shake that off. Like I said, get some fluid in him, get him ready to go. Sure, will be checking back in here in a couple seconds. And you have Jeffrey Johnson and Trayvon White both on the floor with four personals on the Geibel side. White has it now, working right in the lane, trying to reposition, threw it up, shot attempt, no good. Rebound underneath, pulled down by John Wilkins of Neighborhood Academy. Wilkins down the near boundary, fights off a couple of Gators, brings it across, gets a little help there from Courtney Wallace, who sends it out far side with 123 to play. And getting a touch there was more back up top. Wallace, a little hop step, got blocked down low. Big time block there from Kalensic. Yeah, Kalensic with a beautiful block there. Wallace thought he was just going to have another floater in the lane, but great defense. Here's White leaning in and got it to go. Geibel back in the lead. That's 30 tonight for Trayvon White. Geibel leads at 65 to 64. Now another Gator down cramping up. That's Johnson again. Interesting. They're going to send Curry and Kennedy waiting to check in for the Geibel Gators, but Johnson went down like somebody shot him. With 101 to play, 65-64 Geibel. Step aside for a quick 30 from the Seattle Product Group High School Sports Night. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Road, Smithfield, PA, is here. With transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. It's all these Geibel kids, Tony, cramping up. 101 to play. Gators up 65-64. to 64. Johnson went all the way back to the trainer's table behind the bench. Hey, you got to wonder what kind of pregame meal they all had. Couldn't eat meat today, so, no. you know. Should have drank a little more water, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, Neighborhood Academy with the basketball down one at 65-64. to 64. Final minute of the fourth quarter. Courtney Wallace back across for Neighborhood Academy. On the far wing off to Wilkins. Wilkins coming inside. Got swatted by Grady. But they keep it alive. Good save there. Simpson kick out three on the way. No good more. Ball still loose underneath. And the Gators Grady another rebound. Off to Kennedy who got bumped and fouled. What a sequence there. Great block by Grady. Really just changed it all around. Kennedy 
Going to try to fight through these cramps to try to make a couple foul shots. Same Johnson. thing with Johnson, too. Yeah, he's checking back in. Joel Kennedy going to the line. Geibel a one-point lead, 41 seconds left in regulation. Yeah, they called that foul on Wallace. It's only his second. Now the repositioning personnel here on the blocks. White the only Gator on the blocks. Johnson now trying to reposition. Kennedy, this is the front end of a one and one, or did he get two there? No, and they it call called him over the line too quick. Wow. Just a lot of disorganization there. Well, Gobble right now only nine for 19 from the foul line here tonight. They started off red hot too. Yes, they did. It's Neighborhood Academy down one at 65 to 64. Final 30 seconds of the fourth quarter. Here's John Wilkins high on the left. Wilkins driving, kicks it back on the wing there to Jalen Moore. Back near side for the lead. Three off the mark, Shamar Simpson. Ball deflected out of bounds, and it will be Neighborhood Academy basketball. They're going to say Johnson knocked that out of bounds as he and Wallace fought for that rebound. So now the Bulldogs going to trigger it in under their own basket with 18.6 seconds to go. Junior Ogbonny will send it in, and Geibel by one. Ogbonny, a little bounce pass in on the far side to Jalen Moore. Timeout taken here by Neighborhood Academy. 16.1 left here on the fourth. Geibel 65, Neighborhood Academy 64. Take a quick 30 here on the CR Brada Group High School Sports Night. This is Tim Dye, Fay County Clerk of Courts, and I would like this opportunity to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and Phillies, the Uniontown Red Raiders, the Geibel Gators and the Lady Gators, and the Brownsville Falcons on their great seasons and making the playoffs. You should be very proud. Now finish straight and bring home that championship trophy. The playoff has started, and I'm asking your support as I'm running for re-election as your clerk. So on May 16th, give Tim Dye another try. Paid for by the candidate. It's Geibel 65, Neighborhood Academy 64. Neighborhood Academy now, Tony, out of timeouts. Geibel with one foul to give as well could be big. Yeah, I mean, really, at this point in time, if anybody's going in for a wide-open layup, try to foul him. Got 16 seconds to go. Still not in a one and one the Bulldogs, but the Gobble Gators are. Yeah, the winner will play in the semifinals on Saturday. Loser plays in a PIAA play-in game on Friday. Gators now back on the court. Neighborhood Academy breaking out of their huddle on the far side. Been yeah. a fun one tonight. Again, I have to thank our live video stream sponsors, Ranker Lincoln, Dr. Mark Rabat, and attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Wittett, Watson Mundorf, LLP. Yeah, and you got Jeff Johnson on the sideline again with cramps. Junior Ogbonny, the trigger man here for Neighborhood Academy. Ogbonny into John Wilkins, has it high on the left, 13 seconds to go. Yeah, Neighborhood Academy out of timeout, and Wilkins is fouled there by Tom Kalensik. That's the last foul the Gators had to give with 9.8 left. Might have waited till we got a little bit deeper into the lane and tried to foul him, but looks like Wilkins a little bit shaken up, but he's going to be okay. And now timeout by Geibel. This will be their final timeout with 9.8 left, 65-64 Geibel. We'll step aside for another quick 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Ready to update your... Find what you need at Zen Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. So here we go, Geibel 65, Neighborhood Academy 64, both teams out of timeouts. Neighborhood Academy to trigger it in. Junior Agbani will send it in in front of the Neighborhood Academy bench. And they'll go for the win, off to Shamar Simpson. Simpson on the inside, scoop shot, got blocked by Kalensik, deflected out of bounds, will stay with Neighborhood Academy here in the Geibel zone with five seconds left here in the fourth. Yeah, nice anticipation there by Kalensik, good defense by White. And yet Simpson tried to scoop shot, but Kalensik with the block. And now five seconds left. To Jalen Moore to send it in. Baseline near side, Jalen Moore up top. No one home, goes out of bounds. They're going to go over to Geibel. Yes, it is. Yeah. Back over to the Gators. They should send this in here deep in their own zone since the ball was not touched going out. There you got another now, technical, technical. foul. That's going to be on Jalen Moore. And not a very smart move. 
He was complaining about a foul, and really it looked like incidental. looked like both Kalensic and Wilkins or Wallace got tied up. But now you've got a technical, and Gobble's going to get possession of the ball. Yeah, they'll have two shots and the ball. Five seconds left. We'll go back down on the other side. So Geibel will trail by 13 in this game. Able to rally back here in the fourth quarter. Fought off a little foul trouble with White and Johnson. And now Jadis Kennedy, first of two free throws, trying to ice it on the way in good. Kennedy, seven here in the fourth, 26 for the game. Well, knock down another one, as you said. Get it back into Kennedy's hands. He's been at the foul line a number of times here tonight. It'll be the... Second straight year, the Gators are in the WPIL semifinals if they hang on. They'll also clinch a state playoff berth for the third time in the last four years. Kennedy misses that free throw, so the lead's still at two. Both teams out of timeouts, but it will be Geibel's basketball. And the Gators will send it in now for midcourt. Jeffrey Johnson, the trigger man. And Johnson sends it in to Kennedy. Kennedy just trying to dance around in the backcourt. 2.2 left, got fouled. So you still got a fighter's chance if your neighborhood academy. You're down two. Kennedy's going to be shooting a couple of free throws. Actually, it'll be a one and one. That was the ninth team foul. So you might get another shot here if you're the Bulldogs. Exactly. He's got to make the first one, no doubt. Be nice to make both, but you got to hit the first one. Kennedy's still trying to loosen himself up. That was the third person on Courtney Wallace. Again, the ninth team foul. Geibel for the moment with everybody back and half the team walking a little bit like you, Tony. They're a little gimpy out there. Kennedy, front end of the one and one, no good. Same team there on the rebound. Last chance from shy of midcourt. No good there from Wilkins and Geibel with well, a come from behind 66 to 64 win over Neighborhood Academy. Gators back in the WPIL semis coming up on Saturday. We're back to tell you all about it, our post-game show. Brock G. by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Hello, John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from present and award-winning 40 Uniontown. Our President's Day sale is in full swing, and we have a great selection of 2022 F-150s. How about XLT models with $1,000 in low APR customer cash and rates as low as 0% for 36 months and only 4.9% for 72 months? Save as much as $3,000 in discounts on select units. Check this out, 2022 Ford Explorer XLT. How about $750 in low APR customer cash and rates as low as 0% for 36 months? and 5.9% for 72 months. Hey, Dom, do we still sell premium vehicles here? Hey, John, you bet we do, with 60 here and fresh trades arriving daily. Most are certified with factory warranty. Cars, trucks, SUVs, we got them. Have that car in the driveway that you just don't use? We will make you an offer to buy it even if you don't buy a vehicle from us. Just stop, click, or call to get details on offers so good, George Washington would trade in his wooden teeth for it. That's 40 Uniontown, top of the hill across from Applebee's or 40uniontown.com. Must finance with Ford Motor Credit. Not all buyers will qualify. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 754-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. If you're ready for a dental makeover or in need of basic dental care, the office of Dr. Mark Rabatin is right for you. Dr. Rabatin uses the latest advancement in the industry to achieve comprehensive care that will preserve your smile for years to come by providing general dentistry services. Call today to schedule your appointment at their modern office, located in the Fayette Business Park, 724-437-4991, for the fine art of dentistry. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. 
We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Hey, everyone. I'm John Marietta, and I am the Hillbilly. I'm on my way to becoming your next Fayette County Commissioner. I will stand firm on the Constitution and my faith. And like I always say, fear ain't in this house, and it won't be in the Commissioner's office either. Standing up for Fayette County is my number one priority. Pennsylvania needs leaders. Is contagious. So get ready to ride. The posse is forming. A vote for me is a vote for we the people. I will always be a servant. It's time for change. It's time for we the people. Vote for John Marietta for Fayette County Commissioner. God bless you all and God bless America. Paid for by John Marietta for We the People. Walk into their showroom and you'll know their commitment to customer service. Ranker Lincoln Motor Sales, Fayette County's exclusive Lincoln dealer. Owned and operated by the Ranker family since 1950. Whether you need to purchase or service a new or pre-owned Lincoln, you've come to the right place. Ranker Motor now has a nice selection of cars and trucks with new cars on the way. Just two miles south of Connellsville on Route 119. Call 724-628-8500 or visit them online. RankerLincoln.com. Back wrapping things up from Peters Township tonight. Again, our post game show being brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. Geibel trailed by as many as 13, rallying for a 66 to 64 win over Neighborhood Academy tonight. Tony, as your final stance, they're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County. All right, for the victorious Geibel Gators, who improved to 17 and 6 overall and advance to the semifinals of the 1A championships. They were led tonight by Trayvon White, who had 30 points. He was followed by Jadis Kennedy, who had 26. Seven points in the fourth quarter by Jeff Johnson. Two points by Braden Curry on a big shot from the foul line. And Seth Dolan off the bench with a made free throw that helped the Geibel Gators. Jadis Kennedy tonight was 8 for 14 from the foul line, Brian, after starting out 6 for 6, so struggled, but fortunate enough to get the victory. So Geibel, 17 in the first, 15 in the second, 13 in the third, 21 points in that fourth quarter for their total of 66. Two made threes, one by Trayvon White and one by Jeff Johnson, and they were 10 for 22 from the foul line, which could have cost them, but really pulled out a fantastic two-point victory. For the Neighborhood Academy Bulldogs, who finish 18-5, and five, they were led by Courtney Wallace, who had 29 points. He had three made threes on the night. 15 points by Shamar Simpson, 13 by John Wilkins, but only two in that second half. Five points by Nazim Daniels, and two points by Junior Ogbonny. They scored 23 in the first, 17 in the second, 13 in the third, and 12 in the fourth for their total of 64. They were 10 for 13 from the foul line. They had eight made threes, three by Wallace, two by Simpson, two by Wilkins, and one by Daniels. Seven of those came in that first half, and only one made three in that second half for the Bulldogs. Tony, who do you like for our player of the game? He brought you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facetis. Uh, you got to go with Trayvon White. I mean, there's no doubt. He kept Geibel in this game the whole time and really played a fantastic game. Ended up with 30 points and just did everything that he had to do to will his Geibel Gators to the next round. So, again, we'll have more high school basketball playoff action tomorrow. It's 4 a quarterfinal round time. Laurel Highlands taking on Belvern and Uniontown taking on North Catholic. Our coverage will start tomorrow night with a special hour-long Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show at 7. Both games tip off at 8 o'clock. You can watch them here on the WMBS Facebook page. But a fun one tonight, Tony. 66-64, Geibel rallying from a 13-point deficit to get the win. It was a great basketball game, Brian, and we figured it was everything we said. You came in with the number four, number five seed, and really they showed they both had great seasons, but God was able to pull out a huge victory and advance to the next round. So for Tony Hanola, Billy Dice, Nick Barcheck back inside our WV Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. This is Brian Morosak, and have yourselves a pleasant good evening. Gators win it 66-64 of our Neighborhood Academy. Selling everybody from Peters Township High School. We'll see you here tomorrow night.